The Trump administration has halted its program of training and supplying the same Syrian rebels Turkey supports. For more on, Walla, on, for more on everything that is unfolding in this story, we turn tonight to former CIA agent Jack Rice. Jack, nice to have you with us tonight. Uh, how serious is this, releasing the locations and the military procedures, which certainly has to be a violation of a good ally? Your thoughts on this tonight? Absolutely. It's extraordinary that the Turks would actually do this. This really highlights just how ugly things have become between the Turks and the Americans. And you're right, the focus is primarily on this Kurdish question, the PKK on the one side, the PYD on the other. The Americans see the, the Kurds as the best ally they have on the ground north of the border. The Turks and even the Americans have acknowledged the PKK as a terrorist group. That's one example of just how difficult things are in the region. You know, it just looks like retaliation by Turkey. How else can it be interpreted? No, it is retaliation. There is no question about this because this is a state-run media organization. Let's remember, we're talking about 150,000 people who have been fired across Turkey who disagree with Erdogan. We know that more than 50,000 have been arrested or indicted. We know that there are more journalists in jail right now in Turkey than any country on the planet. And the Erdogan government is watching this very, very carefully. This would not be allowed but for the Erdogan government specifically specifically allowing it to happen. This was purposeful. What's the proper response here? What can military sources do? What can the CIA do? What does this mean? Well, in this case, what has to happen is there has been a lot of cooper cooperation between the Americans and the Turks, but the EU and the Turks as well. There's this question of what's going on with NATO, what's going on with the EU, and exactly where the Turks fall into this issue. But you know what? In some ways, it's not terribly shocking because, as you mentioned in your lead into this, that the Turks just bought a huge missile defense system from the Russians, and there's been a big issue on whether or not the Turks were going to go west, meaning the EU, or go East, meaning Russia. I think this is one more example where we're finding that the Turks are moving away from the Europeans and they're moving towards the Russians and, frankly, against the Americans. There needs to be a ramping up here, and I think you're going to see the Turks are going to start being excluded more and more from all Western allied efforts. When you say ramping up, are, are you saying that possibly this could drag the United States into a confrontation to draw a line with Turkey? I mean, basically, it seems like Turkey is saying, OK, United States, whose side are you going to be on here? Well, no, I, I don't think you're going to see the Americans and the Turks, because I recall being in the region covering an issue of the PKK some years ago myself, myself in, in southeastern Turkey on this issue as the Turks were going in to kill Kurds in northern Iraq. But this really does highlight the problem here, because if you start seeing the Americans and the Europeans, they could pull back on this issue of the PKK as, quote unquote, terrorist, which is something that could potentially destabilize Turkey. And that's something that they could potentially do. They could pull back in terms of their support for the Turks on that issue, and it makes it that much more difficult for the Turks inside of their own country. And frankly, I think the Americans have the right to look at this issue and say, are the Turks really our friends on this issue? If Americans start dying because of what the Turks did, you may start to see a shift here. You may start to see a slip. All right. Former CIA agent Jack Rice with us tonight. Jack, always a pleasure. Thanks for your expertise on this.